All right, kids, have an interesting one today. I'm kind of excited about, at the least, it'll be uh, some interesting golf nerd conversation. So let's get into it. What's in the box? What's in the box? Hey, everyone, my name is Bill Bush from DriveRangeHeroes.com, at Range Heroes. And pretty much most of your preferred social media platform. So go give me a follow there if you don't mind. This is That Range Life, a channel sometimes about golf here on YouTube. Do me a favor right out of the gate. If you don't mind, go down below. Give us a thumbs up while you're down there just because it helps us. And uh, I think you'll like the video. Hit subscribe. Hit the bell so you get notified every time we post something here on the channel. You don't want to miss it. Okay. It's a weird time of year, new golf gear coming out, but still uh, a lot more to come when the new year hits. Uh, but this one's been getting teased for quite a bit, and um, I think there's lots of, a lot of golf nerdery happening here that it's a lot to unpack. I'm going to do my best, so let's just get right into it. Sub-70 tape, maybe that gives it away. Studio's feeling a little tight, so uh, hopefully I can get enough space to safely cut this thing and not hurt myself. Sub 70 hats. There it is. Ooh, a new head cover I had not seen from these guys yet. Can only mean one thing, the new 859 Pro Driver. Let's take this plastic off and uh, start talking about it, shall we? Brand new, just before 2025. Um, this thing, like I said, is really interesting. There's a lot to talk about in here. So I'm going to actually pop it off the shaft because I feel like I need to be able to hold the driver head to explain it. Shout out Sub70 for sending a... Uh, Let's see, we got the wrench in here and a whole bunch of weights. All right, so we'll talk about those in a little bit. All right, you may notice a wardrobe change. I realized the black hoodie was not going to work with the uh, blacked out matte black sub 7859 Pro driver head. So, shout out True Links Wear. Go to truelinkswear.com, use the code DRH15 for 15% off your entire order. Uh, getting a getting a better background for you here okay let's talk about uh what's happening here with the 859 pro driver um it's really pretty interesting so right now in the golf market everybody's there's a i, I think sub 70s call it the moi war or the uh the race for the most moment of inertia and if you've watched our videos before you just know that's essentially how much the club wants to rotate around the ball at impact, depending on where you hit it. Um, the higher your MOI, the more forgiving and stable the golf club's supposed to be. And uh, the way it's been measured lately by the USGA is you have an axis vertically and horizontally. So the how much the club rotates that way and that way at impact. And the values are like around 5,000 is uh, the maximum value. And if you add the horizontal one to the vertical one, 10,000 is your ideal number. So everyone's going for 10,000, but Sub-70 has had this hypothesis over the last three years to say, you know, I think the way MOI and uh, rotation at impact works is not really uh, optimized with how they are measuring it and designing go golf clubs too. So they believe that the rotational axis of the head is not based off of like a free floating head. And that's where most of the industry is measuring it. And a free floating golf head, how much is it going to rotate? But Sub 70 says if you have a shaft going into the golf club, that creates like a single connection and a, a like a pivot point, or that will give the true, um, the true access. Of rotate axis I keep saying is that a common mistake access axis of rotation and so the technology in the 859 pro driver head is called art axis of rotation technology 
And what they're saying is there's a center of gravity point or CG point within the club head. And that's where the club sort of wants to rotate around it. But based on where that, uh, that driver shaft is coming into the club, and you can see it with the lie angle, right? Um, that's going to play a big role. A line sort of run, an axis runs parallel to that, a line with the center of gravity. And the club wants to rotate around based on that. I don't know if you're following me here. And I'm not good at, art admittedly not good at articulating this, but I feel like it makes a lot of sense. So if there's, you know, if you just take this golf club and are rotating it around something at impact, it's going to move a certain way. But if you have a big, now you have a big stick going into it at the heel, that's going to influence where it can rotate when it hits. So sub 70 has a, it has their design based around that rotation point. They've done the research to prove there's something, uh, there's something to be said about that. And so this axis of rotation technology, there's a patent pending on it. It's fairly, uh, a fairly different approach as far as I'm aware in the industry to focus more on rotating based off of that shaft point, if you will, in the center of gravity, as opposed to just a free floating golf head in the center of the face sideways and up and down how it wants to rotate okay you follow me here if not leave questions in the comments because i'm probably not explaining it well and i can get the answers for you so it's not your traditional bulge and roll that you're used to uh additionally they have um they have a curvature to their face where it's like a single curve as opposed to um i'll just say another brand has done some tried to do something similar once with a um let's call it, I almost want to call it like a two plane face. It wasn't as much as a curve um, to try to make it more forgiving. And so when you miss hit it based on how the club head's going to rotate, it'll have a more square contact point. But with the research they've done, they don't need like separate surfaces. They can achieve that with one sort of curve around the face. So with this different, uh, this different design, this different approach to MOI, the weighting of the head is a little bit different. Uh, high MOI, you're usually looking at a lot of perimeter weighting, um, low and deep center of gravity. And we do have the extra weights here in the rear sole of it. So um, we'll talk about that in a second as well. But sub 70, because of the way they're seeing this rotation working, they have more weight toward the low in the heel and high in the toe. All right, so again, thinking it's going to rotate with that shaft more and you need it. So that's where they want it to be help balance and be more stable. Common theme, you know, you don't want to have a uh, single face thickness across the whole face, uh, especially towards the heel, the toe and around the perimeter. So a variable face thickness. So you have the ideal thickness at the right points of the driver face for more speeds on those mishits, make it a little more forgiving as well. And another point I forgot to add, in addition to this uh, true axis of rotation and the art technology, uh, think about gear effect, right? Where you hit, you're starting to sort of turn the club face and hit a ball towards the toe, and then it just wants to go off right and just hook left on you or vice versa off the heel. Um, their design, they don't really say they're going to reduce it or remove it. I believe the uh, the term they use in their product page was it eschews, okay? It eschews the traditional gear effect that you're used to. So I'm going to find out in testing what that means. But, um, you know, this, how the club wants to naturally rotate at impact will also uh, influence gear effect. So I'm excited to see how that works out as well. As far as the basics, this pro version is 450 cc so a little smaller than the max allowed 460 cc i will tell you um it doesn't look super tiny and compact with a big deep face it's uh fairly moderate it has a has a little bit of that uh that pear shape but it's still rounder i mean 450 is not tiny it's not like 430 440 in that category but still smaller compact uh I'll say tour preferred influenced shape and size, uh, multi-material. So you have a carbon crown. So that means reduced weight on top, more weight on the bottom, 
driving that center of gravity lower, helping with all the MOI balancing they're looking to do. If you don't have your weight in heavy steel or titanium or whatever on the top of the club, you can add it into strategic points in the club head to get your balance and forgiveness where you need it to be. A um, lot of adjustability. They have the adjustable hosel and with a different loft options, obviously in lie and those kinds of things. It uh, will also impact how much how closed and open the face is being. This is the pro model. Um, naturally at neutral, it sits like half a degree or so open, I read. You need to address a golf ball and really see if it looks open at address or just pretty neutral. We'll find out. Also, I want to uh, point out and make it very clear. I give Sub-70 a lot of credit for the aesthetics of this club. Um, the crown, just a matte carbon black looks really clean at address uh nothing no markings on top a uh, little bit of the your usual score lines you know shallow score lines on the edges of the face but again pretty matte raw titanium look looks really clean and then on the sole i mean you have a blacked out sub 70 logo uh down toward the bottom the uh the 859 pro logo in the carbon fiber but there's nothing else on it. I mean, this thing is minimalist, clean, very slick. Um, it's kind of nice with it, the way everybody's just putting so many different markings and billboardy stuff on their golf clubs these days. Just really clean, really modest, uh, really making it look mean. I'm impressed with it. So, shout out Sub70 for how this thing looks. Like I said, whole suite of weights you can swap out in the rear sole of the club in here and that full weight kit that comes with it so you can get your swing weight dialed in maybe you want to influence your uh there's two weights so if you want to influence your shape for a little uh draw or fade you can probably toy around with getting the balance right there um available in right hand only nine degrees ten and a half degrees and uh, i will say this is uh, 400 bucks with the stock shaft and grips option so 400 dollars is a little steep for what you might be used to with uh, sub 70 driver prices. I think they normally been in the like 250 to 300 range, but we're getting a pretty serious design thing here. A lot of R and D, a lot more engineering. This isn't really easy to just stamp and press out something like this. So uh, $400 is still a steal for a premium driver out in the golf club market. So I don't think that's anything to, uh, you know, shake your fist at that's still a good deal uh, of course i will be testing this get a review over at drivingrangeheroes.com so look for it there um go follow me at range heroes so you don't miss when that goes up and uh again subscribe hit the bell so you get notified we will have a video on this eventually and i know you're going to want to hear all about it and um, i think that's it sub 70 859 pro driver very exciting i hope all of you are excited about it We'll see you next time.